All right, we are back. Assault Meliodas has released. He is all of the hype right now. Everyone's doing videos on him. Everyone's summoning. Everyone's excited. And uh, yeah, from what I've seen, I've watched all of my friends' videos. You know, by my friends, I mean like, you know, Speedy, uh, Sora, Nagato, Seaton, all that stuff. I've watched all their videos. And the one thing I can, or the one thing I've seen is that I feel like everyone is actually using this team incorrectly or not incorrectly as in like oh they don't know how to play the game but like i feel like there's a better way to run this team there's a much better way to run this team and uh, that's what we're going to be discussing today uh, before we begin do leave a like on the video this one's going to be a banger subscribe to my channel if you are new if you don't know me i'm shogun mainly well i only do uh grand cross global content but just this once only for a unit as broken and as good as meliodas i had to jump on jp and uh do a video on him so yeah how are we gonna use him differently right how uh, do we improve the team and uh, it's very simple everyone runs him with cc food right but i think cc food is actually not the best food you run this team with alt food and it is 10 times more dangerous and more scary for your opponent because if you go first sure you have the option to uh you know get rid of a few of your cards get new cards in and just wait for your opponent to attack you but what if i just go second you know what if i go second with more alt gauge what does my opponent do then if we face a mirror match and we go second we even if we go first against a mirror match we have a 10 times higher chance to win just because we're gonna have more alt gauge than the opponent and you know pvp alt gauge yada yada you, you already know how it goes uh, obviously this ain't gonna work in geared pvp right now because there is a rule that actually prevents uh alt rush in geared pvp right now so you know when that rule goes away then you'll be able to use this in geared pvp no problem this team right here this one is mainly to deal with the one escanor and uh, it's also good in the mirror match if you face the one escanor with this team it's a guaranteed win you literally can't lose unless you misplay like really bad or something like that it's pretty much impossible to lose to the one uh you know the one is notorious for you know one banging two units turn one when he's with gotha but he can't do that to us uh, you probably think he can but uh, i promise you uh, he he can't even in geared pvp i tested out he he can't kill because he kills my Laskula, he gives my meliodas a stack and uh, that stack is enough to prevent meliodas from dying to escanor so uh yeah even if escanor attacks him with a level three he's not gonna kill rest assured and uh yeah if we put Zeldris in the front, which uh, is also an option, this is better equipped to deal with alt rush teams, because with Melascula, three of my losses were to opponents who alt rush me, and I have no way to control alt rush, so I, you know, I'm gonna struggle, I'm gonna lose. With Zeldris, that the chances of you losing to alt rush decreases significantly, because if you go second to an alt rush team, they unless they open up the nuts. They are not going to rush two ultimates turn one. But if they do, which is definitely possible, that means they opened up the nuts. And if your opponent opens up the nuts in PvP, they're probably going to win. So uh, don't worry about that. But yeah, for this video, we're going to showcase uh, Melascular. Uh, with Zeldris team, like with Zeldris in the front, the two games I lost were to the one Escanor teams. Because uh, obviously, you know, I'm not going to lie. Like if the one double attacks Meliodas and crits him, like, he's, like Meliodas is going to die, you know. Uh, the, the, the reason why Melascular is so good is she provides a one-hit cushion, right? She soaks up a hit and prevents uh, your Meliodas from dying. So, uh, yeah. But let's see what we have here. We have uh, an opponent who top-decked uh, Meliodas card. Okay. That doesn't bode uh, too well for us. But it's fine because we do this. Uh, I didn't actually see if he has draw or not, but I'm gonna assume he does have draw. Uh, the green draw, that is. Alright, so he does have green draw and we are locked, but that's fine. He has no way to reduce my gauge. So uh, from this point onwards, we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. This is gonna be a stally game. I already know it. Uh, that's clearly the intention of my opponent to stall me out. Uh... Oh wait, he gives us a stack. Uh, one stack ain't enough. That's fine. We'll just respond to uh, some more alt rush of ourselves. Obviously, I can't attack into him because he has Esther Rosa ultimate, but that, that, that's fine. I don't care about that. We do have two stacks on us, which is dangerous. I'm not going to lie. Two stacks is uh, very bad, but that's fine because you can remove Meliodas stacks with uh, 
drill petrify and we do have a drill petrify so that's fine but right now let's see what let's see what the opponent does because he's in a bit of a pickle he is in a bit of a pickle and we're gonna take this opportunity to uh just get some uh, get some gauge obviously the only reason why i'm playing it like this is because of the opponent i'm facing you know we are technically an alt team uh, this isn't the uh, the go first uh, rush ultimate explosive team that uh, you know you normally see. Oh, uh, sure thing, I guess. <laughs> uh, did it, is that his way of conceding the game? Because why would he do that? I have no idea why he done that, but that's fine. <laughs> I guess I guess we'll take the win. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to turn down the win. I will not turn down the win. I'm very happy about that. And uh, yeah, at this point, we are just... Uh, we're we're going to win. Like, There's just no two ways about it. We're going to win. Uh, GG Nori. Uh, yeah, I do not recommend you try to run slow teams. Because if you face someone like me, uh, you're going to get outstalled and uh, lose. So yeah, I do not recommend uh, Meliodas uh, slow teams. Hopefully we can get uh, some the one games. That would be uh, great, because the way we deal with the one is just like so hilarious, man. When you get when like the one has ultimate, and you taunt with draw, and then he ults your draw. Melascule is passive, right? It procs, and then like both of the ones are ultimate attacks, because uh, the one's ultimate does hit twice. Both of them hit draw, and draw can't die because of Melascule revive, and it's just like so hilarious. Which, uh, yeah, it's a pretty funny interaction. Uh, we are facing a mirror match here, but we go first, which means we rush Melascula Ultimate, and uh, yeah, uh, that is uh, pretty much going to be a GG. What can he do? Um, nothing. Yeah, there's nothing he can do. He can stall us out, but that's fine. <laughs> that is literally A-OK -okay by me. I, I, really, I really don't mind. I really don't mind. Like I said, this team... It uh, it does its best when you face the one teams and when you face mirror matches. That's where it does the best. He's going to draw taunt. Well, I have a draw taunt of my own as well as a draw ultimate. So, yeah. This is all like, you can only do this because you have the extra gauge. Like, one extra ult gauge in PvP is so important, man. It's just so important. Uh, if he's rushing Meliodas ultimate, I think he has another draw taunt. I would think he must have another draw taunt. He does not have a draw taunt. Oh, okay, so he's giving up. Fair play, fair play. Alright. <laughs> uh, Zildjus. Uh, crit, maybe. Crit, maybe. God damn it. That was uh, way too close for comfort. Like, Assault Meliodas is literally the one, but on crack. Like, there's no better way for me to describe it. He's literally the one on crack. Which is uh, weird to say, right? But, hey, it's the truth, man. It is the truth. Right here, we have a... Gotha team. Which... Fine by me. Gotha, you know, people think his attack seal was a big deal. Not to me, because if you attack seal me, I'll just get ultimate. Like, it's just, you know what I mean? It's just like, what counterplay is there to this team, you know? Well, this specific team, your best chance is like uh, Goddess Liz, uh, Lost Vein, Alt Rush. That is definitely a way to beat this team. But if you're not using like Goddess Liz, Alt Rush, uh, good luck. Uh, good luck indeed. But yeah. Eskinor is, uh, yeah. Not too impressive in the face of uh, Assault Meliodas. Go ahead, get ultimate, and we'll wrap it up next turn. <laughs> well, we'll wrap it up next turn. It's just that easy. It's just that easy, man. And of course, as I said, you don't have access to this if um, if you are using uh, alt food. Yeah, you, you you can't do the you can't do these things if you have alt food. Uh, I mean, if you have CC food. Sorry. The only way you can achieve stuff like this is with alt food. So uh, yeah, we're, we're going to draw taunt for the extra attack. And then uh, we are going to say goodbye to the opponent. And uh, yeah, 
Meliodas, his ultimate is broken by the way. Like, his ultimate is um, the strongest ultimate in the game. When you one shot at 2-6, that's a problem. Because I can tell you, I've, ta like, I've taken Festival King's ultimate with Meliodas and I've survived. I've taken Lost Vein ultimates with my Meliodas and I've survived. When Meliodas is buffed up, no one is taking his ultimate. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like you can't tank this uh, this damage, bro. It's uh, it's just way it's just too much. It's too much. And look at that, we we take off the revive, and like we just we just one turn got a slizz. Like it's, I don't know, man. I don't know. But let's see. Oh, we have uh, the uh, the cancer. We are facing the cancer. Which is fine by me. Fine by me. Go on, mate. Go right ahead. Do the taunting stuff. Do all that good stuff that you like to do. I really don't care. Uh, Meliodas, by the way, destroys those uh, taunt teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, the one. Yeah, yeah. Go right ahead, bro. Yeah. Yeah. The one looks like an SR unit in comp uh, in comparison to uh, Meliodas. And then guess what? He has Esther Rosa commandment. I don't care because all of my buffs just overpower his commandment. Like literally, like we overpower the commandment. We have way too much attack. And uh, our passive nukes his um, his uh, attack related stat debuffs. So uh, yeah. GG Nori. <laughs> GG Nori. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. With this team, you give it the power to alt rush, and it's just like so scary, man. It's just so scary. Uh, what? What is this? To be completely honest, it doesn't even matter because Melascular. He has a green unit. We rush Melascular ultimate, and uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, the, we're gonna take off the revive. Or I could even just rush uh, Meliodas ultimate right now. I could literally just rush his ult right now. And if my opponent doesn't have Zeldris, what are they going to do? You know? And if they do have Zeldris, what? They're going to give me a stack? <laughs> they, 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 they're going to give me a stack, bro? Are, are you sure about that? Are you sure you want to give me a stack? I don't think you do. I don't think you do. But yeah. Well, well we're, we're going to rush Meliodas ultimate. We're going to do it. We're gonna do it, and when that shield comes off, you are dead. You are dead to rights, my friend. You are dead to rights. Oh, yeah. Lost Vein doing uh, SR damage. That's full passive. Two, f two, four. No, no, we're one stack away from full passive. Yikes. That is a yikes, chief. Uh, yeah, good luck to the opponent. Good luck. This man is way too broken. This man is way too broken. And, uh, Los Fame Meliodas? I'll see you later, my friend. Didn't even need to crit. Didn't even need to crit. <laughs> yeah. This guy is, uh, way too good, man. He's way too good. He's the best unit in the game. Buy it, like, easily. Easily the best unit in the game. The fact that you can't run him with some cheese like a Goddess Liz is just completely irrelevant because you don't need that. Like, you don't need to run him with Goddess Liz. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure you can make teams with him that don't include commandments, but I just think that's just a huge waste because like his passive is so broken. Why would you not want that? You know, his passive is just just it's just so broken. It's so good. I don't see why you would make a team where you can't have access to his passive, but yeah, we'll play one more game to wrap it up. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I've uh, I feel like I've made my case. Like using alt food to alt rush instead of just going first and wasting some skills and waiting for the opponent. It's just like uh, it's just so much better, man. It's even better if you go second, which I don't think we have gone second in this video. It's even better if you go second, because then you can actually uh, make plays. Because if we go first, then we just rush someone's ultimate, we can't make any plays. But if we go second, we can definitely make plays. And uh, here we go. 
Here we go. This should be a good one. This should be a good one. The one Goddess Liz team. I'll waste it. Why not? Why not? I don't mind. I do not mind at all. Now, there's no point in ranking up Escanor and then double attacking. Because you're not going to kill. So, let's see. Let us proceed. That's Loki. That is pretty annoying. Because I kind of wanted to uh, rush Meliodas ultimate, but that's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. Kill, uh, well, take off the revive from Gotha. Oh, that is a shaft and a half. I mean, not that it really matters, but, you know. It's just, it was a little bit of a feel bad kind of thing. Don't pop the shield again, please. Level 2 shield. Well, that is actually annoying. Low key, that is a bit annoying. But yeah, the one is just like, whatever, man. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with him later, bro. We, we don't even care. Right now, we're just going to one bang uh, Goddess Liz. And then we can move on. Uh, how much? 110. In ungeared. Level 1. Um, yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Thing is, Escanor, even though he's immune to debuffs, he's not immune to buffs, so he's not immune to uh, our rupture. Uh, yeah, if if Escanor was immune to buffs as well, that would actually make him uh, quite a bit better because then we can't proc Rupture and uh, go on level 3. Sure thing, thanks for uh, doing me a favor, giving me an extra card, much appreciated. And uh, yeah, <laughs> let's uh, wrap it up man. Let's wrap it up. Meliodas didn't crit him unfortunate that's uh, because the one does have a th well he had three passive stacks so quite a chunky bit of crit um, resistance and of course he did not have the debuff because he's immune but that does not matter that does not matter one bit um, we do this we do that and uh, it's, yeah easy easy it's just way too easy man and then of course with all these debuffs we can just uh swipe up this uh this Zildjus and it's just like yeah man it's i don't know man i don't know what to tell you but yeah definitely the best way to run the team 100 percent in my opinion why would you use cc food to go first there's literally no reason to you benefit so much more from using the alt food if you go first with the alt food happy days you can rush ultimate if you go second happy days you can rush ultimate it's like you know instead of just waiting for them to attack you you can be proactive right you can be proactive you can get ultimate whilst also waiting for them to attack you but if you have cc food like do you know what i mean it's just like i don't know man it just defeats the purpose but yeah 30 games uh, i think i played uh you know a good amount of games uh, between melascula and zeldris like i said the only way i lost was to the uh, the counter to each team so with zeldris we lost to the one teams with melascula we lost to alt rush teams so yeah uh, that will be it though uh, i don't think i need uh, i don't think i have to do a video in geared because uh you know i'm pretty sure all of you guys have watched uh, the videos of uh, meliodas and geared pvp and stuff so no need to do that but yeah that is uh, my opinion use him with alt food in his commandment team so he gets his passive and uh <laughs> good luck uh, destroying everyone that will be it guys do leave a like on the video subscribe to my channel if you're new turn on your notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next one take care